This is Sarah Connelly's video blog series, helping you accelerate your collective and personal transformation with systemic intelligence. When you join an organization, it's really important that you have what we call a good joining. So that it's almost as if the organization makes space for you to come and join it so that you feel that you're welcome and that you actually have a place. And the reason why this is important that you have this good joining is actually so that you can get to work really quickly. Um, if you don't have a good joining, it's kind of like you don't know where you fit and you don't know how you belong and you've got to do all the work to work all of that out. So you spend you know, a reasonable amount of time kind of trying to work out how to fit in the system. So if the system, and that's the, by that I mean the individuals in the system, make you feel very welcome and give you a proper place and make space for you so you don't have to wedge your way in, um, this means that you, you know, have a good sense of belonging right from the get-go. Um, and we might even notice this in family dynamics or relationships where, you know, if we don't have a good, good beginning, <laughs> it sets up difficulties for quite some time in the relationship. So that's really important in an organisation. Now, the other part of the equation is a good ending. So a good ending is so that um, when you leave, you feel free to go. You feel complete, that everything that you had to do in the organisation, you've done, um, that it's respected and honoured, so you feel appreciated. Um, and that leaves you then free to go to the next thing without any kind of lingering ties or those sorts of things. The other thing that's really important about that is that the role itself is left clean because when you step into a role where there has not been a good beginning and there has not been a good ending, there's a toxicity in that role um, or if not toxicity, certainly dysfunctional elements in that role that you will have to manage and you won't be conscious of them. So there can be dynamics at play that you kind of don't understand or don't make sense um, because of that. Um, and invariably, if there's been a bad ending, only part of the story is told, not the whole story is told. Um, so, you know, and that's kind of normal human behaviour when something unpleasant happens and they don't want to talk about it. But actually, we need to get good at talking about uh, difficult or unpleasant things in a way that dignifies them. Doesn't doesn't legitimise them, but it dignifies them. Um, so, and particularly if we understand systemically, sometimes people um, can come in, be disruptive and disappear. And we're all judgmental about their disruption, but the disruption was really helpful to the system. So they actually provided a service, um, <laughs> albeit in a very, very strange way. Now, the, the real test is um, when to leave. Because what we tend to do when, and this happens with somebody who comes into the organisation, makes a great, great contribution, and you really, really love them and you don't want them to go because they've been so wonderful. And what we can do is then try and find artificial roles for them to fulfil. It's like we're hanging on to them past their natural organic um, point of closure um, with their contribution to the organisation. And this creates disturbances in the system. Um, it'll create disturbances for them, but it'll create disturbances for other people because it's like you've got something in the system that doesn't actually belong there anymore. Um, the other really big challenge is for you to know when it's time for you to go. And I think there's a beautiful example playing out right now um, in the media, which is um, Angela Merkel, the Chancellor of um, Germany. So she is, she's actually listened to all of the disturbances and disruptions that are happening. She had a, she's had a very strong uh, run in her role over 18 years. But of recent times, there started to be disturbances and disruptions, and she's paying attention to that. Um, I don't know her personally. I'm just, just watching things that we're seeing um, in the media. She's paying attention to all of the signals, um, and she's actually um, found a very dignified way to leave, to make a good transition, um, to position it well for her replacement, 
And so she's going to leave, um, it would appear, in a very dignified, respectful manner. So her legacy will be honoured and appreciated. Um, and the person coming into the role will be positioned in a, in a way that is an uplift um, for them, uh, rather than dealing with all the turbulence and difficulties, which, you know, we could turn to other political situations uh, where we see how much, how much turbulence and difficulties leaders following a bad leaving have had to deal with. And you can actually even notice a compounding pattern of difficulties, which is systemic dynamics at play. So it's a good idea to get really good at good beginnings, good endings, knowing when to leave and how to leave in a fashion that is dignified. To work effectively with complex or challenging beginnings and endings, contact Sarah through ea at sarahconnelly.com.